up with you here. We're going to do a, uh, a liquid mozzarella, a little piece of tomato, rather than the, the liquid caprese where I had the, the tomato as the, uh, as the sphere. So I've got uh, the mozzarella has been pureed with some of the liquid from the, uh, from the container. And I'm going to drop that in. All right, and then just start giving it a little fold as that skin forms. So we get a nice round fall sphere capsule, whatever you want to call it. I like to call them capsules. And uh, we're heading into our Halloween, so I'm trying to devise some some different and interesting things, sort of a Dr. Frankenwit uh, <laughs> experience here at the club for the kids. Uh, so I'm not sure quite what we're going to do yet, but we're going to do something crazy and wild for, for Halloween. All right. Let's get try to get that turned over. Here we go. And this one is very, very liquid. I didn't, I didn't make the mix uh, super viscous. Uh, maybe a little bit more of the, the buffalo mozzarella pureed into it uh, might have helped. But uh, this way we will have a very nice liquid pop. So what I am going to do is just put just a little, a little piece of tomato and basil and a little sea salt um, to to season that up. Because you know we know buffalo mozzarella doesn't have a uh, a huge amount of, of, of flavor to it. Um, you know, we could have put a little bit of uh, palm water or, or something of that, uh, that sort, but I wanted to keep it pretty much, uh, you know, natural. I think we're, we're getting close. Forming enough of a skin. Let's see how we look here. Uh, let's wait just another minute. The sky's the limit on these things. Uh, you can pretty much use anything you want uh, to create the spear. You just have to add the, uh, the calcium product and uh, a little xanathin or some other kind of thickener to give a little viscosity. Or you can freeze it in a mold and heat the algae water and throw it in frozen so the skin starts forming and then you can have a real super liquid pop. Uh, lots of fun to do for the kids where you want to just juice uh, and it gets a real big juice pop. Alright, well let's give it a try now. Alright, it's a little bit flat. We had more of a viscous um, mixture. It would be a little rounder. I'm going to rinse off any excess algin. And remove some excess water. All right. Go right on to the serving spoon. Piece of tomato. And there you have it. Another form of a liquid crazy, different from the other one you see me do with the, uh, the tomato capsule. Um, so I might as well give it a try. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. You've seen it here, ChefWhitney.com.